Welcome back guys. I'm back with another video. So let's see what's going on. If you're new, welcome. Go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. All right, <clears throat> let's get into it. Get a collective message, please. All right. Okay, so we got received and big dreams. So I'm getting somebody has been either A, receiving some type of download or there's some type of dream. Somebody's having a download through a dream. Okay, now the thing about it is, is, is that somebody is being guided. Okay. Somebody is being guided. Something here with this destruction card. Somebody could be having some type of dream, like something's on the horizon. Something, something is getting ready to occur. So you're getting some type of sign, okay? And it's from your soulmate. It's from a soulmate, okay? So someone that you could have possibly that you're no longer dealing with. I feel like you were extremely devoted to this person. But this person only caught... All I'm getting is a bunch of guilt. Okay? I'm feeling like this person feels extremely guilty. I feel like they know that they are supposed to be um, in a connection with you. But they're doing whatever else they want to do. And they feel guilty about it. I see this person spying on you. Because they're trying to understand, get a better understanding of you before they come towards you, okay? Because we got observer and understanding and um, shadow work. So this person is trying to get more of an understanding before they come towards you. So some of y'all been getting some, some type of downloads. Y'all been getting synchronicities. Y'all been bumping into people um, that reminds you of this person or people from the past like synchronicities things that are just like now that's not coincidence cycles and divine masculine yep this masculine is being guided back to his family he got family and God now he done strayed off his path he done straight off his path. And then we got signs. And I told you, you've been getting some type of signs. Y'all done been receiving some type of download. That your masculine is trying to return. And see, this time when they come in, we got a new direction. This time when they come in, they're coming in to balance things out with you. And they're taking a different direction. They're taking a different route this time. This time when they come around, it's going to be different. I'm hearing, like, fall from grace. We got fallen commitment. I'm getting, like, this person. Some of y'all could have been married to this person or y'all been together for, y'all was together for an extremely long time. Y'all Y'all lived together. It was like a marriage. But I'm getting like this person fell from grace and they're trying to play the victim. Okay, so they're getting ready to come in with the offer. They're coming in with the offer.
Hmm. We got fear and shadow work. So this masculine seems like he is trying to get an understanding of the spirit realm, like the spiritual aspect, because I feel like he's afraid of that. I feel like tarot readings and uh, things of that nature that are spiritual, more deep, I feel like he may be unawakened, but I feel like he's possibly trying to get a better understanding of things. Maybe he's heard somebody say things, certain things, or you brought certain things up to him and it probably scared him. Um, but I feel like he's getting, trying to do research, some research. how to manifest and how to, you know, these things that are more open, opening up that third eye. I do feel like he's closing the chapter with a karmic. We got conclusion and karmic partner. And then we got mute. So I feel like <clears throat> you and this, you and your masculine have not been in communication. But y'all haven't been in communication because they're dealing with the karmic. We got self-worth and compromise and admired, all right, and action at the bottom of the deck. See, they're getting ready to take some action towards you. Out of the blue, I feel like y'all going to get some type of message, some type of communication from this person out of the blue. Y'all going to hear from this person. But this person know that they have to purge. They know that they have to purge. They have to let go of some childish ways. And they know that they have to come in and make some type of full-fledged commitment to you. Um, they admire you. They admire everything about you. They look up to you. Okay? It's like they a fan. <laughs> it's, it's like they are a fan. I spilled some oil on this earlier. It's like they're a fan. So this part, this, and I've been getting that lately. Like these masculines are starting to want to um, straighten up. It's like they're closing out cycles. They're closing out cycles. And it looks like this masculine is closing out cycles with the karmic because they want to come back around. All right, so let's see. Yeah, look at that. The emperor. He jumped right on out. We know that's masculine. You know. What else you want to say? <laughs> Alright, we're going to stop it right here. Yep. So this masculine still has hope for this connection, okay? This masculine is trying to find his way back to you. It could be a Capricorn or Aries. It could be any sign. But this this masculine got some toxic ways, okay? Um, they're inconsistent. That's their that's their their issue. They're inconsistent, irrational, childish. We got the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups here and the Sun. King of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I feel like it's taken a long time. It took a long time for this masculine to come back around because he's the Knight of Pentacles energy. So he's been taking his sweet little time. And like I said, he's been taking a sweet time because he's already in a relationship with the Carmen.
Yep, he's stuck. And he felt like he needed to wait. He felt like he needed to wait to put in this effort. Wait to, to work on it because he already in the situation with a karma. Why is the two of cups here? Nine of Wands. And I feel like he's trying to hide the fact that he's in a relationship with this karma. But everybody already talking about it. Everybody talking about it. Like the Six of Wands, a magician, the Eight of Wands. Maybe he's thinking about making some type of status. On social media. Why is the Nine of Wands here? He's avoiding... He was avoiding coming back around to you because he was in the connection. Why is this Nine of Wands? Six of Swords. He's trying to find a way out of this connection. He's trying to find a way out. <laughs> Tell me why this Page of Wands is here. Three of Cups. He's talking to his friends. He getting advice from people. Like, what's the best way that I can make this move? He's talking to new people, too. He got some new friends. A new group of people that he's uh, um, getting advice from. Yep. He's seeing who can he get advice from. Because he know he got to make a decision. Okay? He got to make a decision. He could be a Leo. Or a Leo could be involved. Yeah, he's saying, look, I got to see first. I got to see first because, see, he, he he waiting to make this decision. He waiting on making this decision because he getting ready to close the chapter. He know. He know he got to make a decision. It's time for him to make a decision. He know he got to close the chapter. And he's saying, look, I got to see first. I, I got to see first. Let me get some advice. I want to get some advice from some new people because my old friends, they gave me some fucked up advice and I ain't been able to bounce back from that since. Okay, so why is the Ace of Pentacles here? He's trying to see what's the best opportunity. Yeah, he said he got to see what's best for him. He got to see what's best. Now, this masculine could be very good looking, very handsome, very popular, and could be like this go-getter type of energy because his energy is the king of wands. Okay, so he could be a little player, but I see a lot of waiting, waiting to make, waiting to make a move. Okay, because he's thinking about it. He plotting. He plotting. So right now he feels stuck. So he plotting his exit. Yep. He getting ready to take somebody advice. And being patient. Okay, he being patient. I feel like he's going through some type of struggle as well, too. And I feel like he's getting advice possibly like from a mother or a female. Because um, we got the Empress here. Um, and the Ace of Swords. He's going to somebody who he feel like he's going to tell him straight up. Because he's telling them that he's regretting the relationship. He's regretting putting in the work. Because this Kermit, she work a lot. Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. But he don't want to just walk away from the relationship. But he got other he got other options that he could go to. And see, he feel like they uh, people not gonna understand or feel where he coming from. Um, but that's just how he feel. This karmic, I feel like maybe she work a lot. Why is the eight of swords here? He's contemplating going back to someone from his past. Six of Cups, like I said. But he at a crossroad, okay? He had a crossroad. He he really at a crossroad. Yeah, because he's he gotta think of what to say. He gotta figure out what how can he express that he has regrets for abandoning you. Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Yeah. He gotta think about what he's gonna say. And that's been on his mind a lot, heavy. 
Like he's thinking about it. Like, dang, how I'm going to even approach that? I feel like this karmic about to be pissed because she's going to start feeling like it's not worth it. Okay? It wasn't worth it. Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. She's she's going to be upset and feel betrayed and stabbed in the back when he makes his final decision because she, gonna, she is going to be pissed. I'm telling you, she is going to be pissed. Pissed off. Pissed because it's masculine getting ready to make this final decision. And she feel like she put a lot of, she invested in him and it wasn't worth it. And then she ended up heartbroken. All these secrets. All these lies. This masculine is fighting himself. He has his own internal battles that he is fighting. It's a it's a conflict it's a conflict with his his mental. Like it's mentally conflicting for him. And see, he just wanna walk out, he wanna leave. Because I feel like maybe they argue a lot, disagreement disagree a lot about perspectives, okay? Whose pers whose perspective is the right perspective? Feel like the relationship that he has with this karmic is falling apart. I feel like this masculine feels like he's forcing forcing this connection. He feels like it's forced. Yep. He feels like the relationship is forced. When he tells this karmic that he loves her, he just he really wants to hold back. He really don't want to say it. He really don't want to tell her that. I feel like this masculine wanted to change his image. Um, and that's why he was dealing with the karmic. But he regrets. Uh, I feel like he also gave this karmic some leverage. Because he talked bad about divine feminine with this karmic and he's regretting it as well. I mean, we wasn't in a relationship at the time. Um, when I told you that, I, I told you that we was in a relationship first, you didn't see it coming. But I see he moved forward anyway. Everybody else knew, Six of Wands and the High Priestess. So everybody else knew that what they had going on except for you. And he knew you was going to be surprised. But this Carmen got tired of being by herself, tired of being alone. So he decided to work it out with her instead. But the thing about it is, is everybody else knew about what was going on except for you. So when you found out, everybody else had already knew. It was already out it was already to a trending topic y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below okay i'm gonna chat with y'all later